After a spike in cases in states across the country, Dr. Anthony Fauci said the return to normal could come within a year, but he said people need to take another look at their expectations for this summer. In Alabama, summer camps are allowed to be open, but Way 31 learned several of them chose not to. Way 31's Ashley Carter visited the camp that opened their doors where they walked her through what, what's being done to, so they can stay open throughout the summer. Summer camp here at the YMCA looks differently than previous years, but the executive director told me they're doing everything in their power to keep everybody safe so that the doors can remain open and the kids can keep having fun. Kids have been uh, cooped up for such a long time through this pandemic, um, so it's something that the parents are relieved and the some of energy. Kids seem like they're having a good time. It's why executive director Daniel Cassenbrer was happy the YMCA was able to operate their summer camps this year. In order to reopen, staff began temperature checking the children and staff, requiring camp counselors to wear face masks throughout the day and playing games that keep the children six feet apart. Making sure that it's a safe but fun environment for the children that we're involved with. Cassandrera told me because they're one of few summer camps open right now, they've had an influx of parents who want to enroll their children. But because of CDC safety guidelines, they've had to cut how many children can attend the camp, keeping many families on the wait list. Unfortunately, we should accept more children, but just be, be, to keep things safe, to keep the kids with social distancing, and make sure that our, our staff and our members are protected. We make sure that we reduce our numbers. He says with the recent spike in cases across the state, he hopes they won't have to close down camp early but they are prepared if it comes to that. We're doing all, every precaution to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, if it does, we're prepared to respond to that. We've had numerous uh, meetings in preparation if that does happen. In Madison, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News. The executive director told us right now the Southeast YMCA branches have about 160 children a week in their camps. They're hoping they won't have to reduce those numbers anymore.